Okay. <clears throat> well, hello everybody and welcome to my to, to season one of Let's Play Xbox Minecraft. And so what we will be doing today is we're gonna go to the Nether here in a minute because I've I've already beat, beat Ender Dragon and everything, but we're gonna go to the Nether and we're gonna go check out the Nether Fortress today. But first. What I was doing over here is I was building a deluxe light, or not a deluxe light system, just a regular lighting system. <clears throat> and I was just covering up all my redstone. But what you do, here, I'm going to give you an example right over, let's see, right here. <clears throat> so what you need is redstone lamps, redstone redstone torches a one block of whatever material you want and a and a daylight sensor so you put down your daylight sensor put the redstone right next to it then you place your block and then on the block facing towards wherever you want your lamps to be well you put your torch there. and then you put down your lamps and you run redstone from here all the way down. And so this and the torch on the black X as well it's basically logic. It's basically logic where it's basically like really the the daylight sensor really would whenever it had daylight Whenever the sunlight hit it, it would power whatever it was connect, whatever the whatever circuit was connected to, or whatever. Okay, but since it since mm, it is right here, like there's this redstone in between the block and and the uh, daylight center. This acts as the off. Gate. So now, since it's sensing daylight, now it turn. It's on right now. This thing is sensed daylight, so that one, that redstone, that little piece of redstone dust is powering this and making it shut off. <laughs> so whenever this is off, it it doesn't show it doesn't light up the lamps so it's pretty good for a little house it's pretty good for a house period actually <clears throat> and you can do it again and if you ever want if you ever want to know where I got this from it is the redstone handbook And this is actually a pretty cool little thing that you can actually do with it. But you can actually make it to where, like, it'll still work, even if you do this. But you can put, like, a whole bunch of lamps <clears throat> and connect them all with redstone. And have one part, one little part connected to the, <clears throat> to the torch like that and then you can just have it running all over the others Darn it. see I once I'm finished doing this we will go to the nether let's go see the nether fortress Okay, I am ready. So I have an iron sword with sharpness four, fire aspect two, knockback two, and looting three, and then pickaxe and axe. They both have efficiency. Pickaxe is two, axe is four. <clears throat> the shovel has some breaking two, and then I brought my powerful sword of doom with knock knockback two and smite four. I brought my flame bow with flame one and infinity one. And I brought my power bow with power 
four in Infinity One, <clears throat> and then he's brand new. And then my inventory's a mess. So let's go. <clears throat> Let's see, where am I? Oh man, it won't show. Got about that. Let's see, where's the fortress? Here it is. Let's see if I can find any blaze spawners, even though I am in creative. Oh, there's one, there's one right there. Let me see if I can find a second one. Or if there's only one here. 